Hello YouTube, welcome back. We're now back in Yorkshire. Um, we were travelling all day, well not all day yesterday, but we were travelling yesterday. Uh, so today is Monday, it's day 14. Of oh gosh, should we continue in the day? <laughs> well, I don't know really, we'll, we might just stop. Anyway, we've just seen our first proper online play. And uh, well, the reason I say proper is because obviously we did review Not, which was an audio play really. Wasn't sort it? of it was an immersive, immersive and, environment thing. Yeah, yeah. What we've seen here is uh, Mustard by Eva O'Connor. Uh, now this is via Summers Hall and before we actually get into uh, the background what, what I've actually done is connected my laptop to my TV so we could watch it on a bigger screen and I've got a, a couple of photographs of that so you can see how the setup was really through a, a, a HDMI cable and that worked really really well. Mm. Yeah it um, did. Uh, now uh, I have the press release for, for uh, Mustard uh, and I'm just going to read the little bit um, and it said um, Fishamble, uh, that's the, the theatre company, are delighted to bring Eva O'Connor's award-winning play Mustard to online audiences in Edinburgh this August. Winner of the Scotchman Fringe First Award 2019, Mustard is written and performed by Eva O'Connor and directed by Hildegard Ryan. When E meets, as Eva, meets the man of her dreams, a professional cyclist, love hits her in the pubic bone like a train. But when it ends, she plummets into a black hole of heartbreak at the speed of a doped up team on a Tour de France. My name is Eva O'Connor and I'm the writer and performer of Mustard. Mustard is a one person show about heartbreak, madness, recovery and using condiments as a coping mechanism. It's essentially about a girl who is in a really intense relationship. And um, when that ends, her mental health is completely thrown up in the air and she uses mustard as a, as a way to cope, I suppose. It's, she ends up moving back to rural Ireland with her mom and it's about her journey to kind of finding herself um, with the help of mustard. I think Mustard is a very relatable show because it's kind of about completely falling apart and um, your mental health going to the dogs and and all the strange and kind of shameful things we do to cope. In this case, the main character's coping mechanism is putting mustard all over her body. But I think it's actually quite relatable and it's quite funny. And um, yeah, ultimately it's a really hopeful play. What do you think? Well, I, um, I, I took a while to get into it, I must confess. Um, I was enjoying the language. I mean, it's a solo show, um, and in a way, like like a lot of these um, shows, the story unfolds. Um, and by the end, I was it, it was really, really absorbing, um, and her performance is fantastic. Yeah, Eva's performance is absolutely exceptional. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're not going to tell you the whole plot. But enough to say that, and I think this is actually on the um, the image for it that Eva covers herself in mustard. Right. Okay. I think we're okay, okay to say that. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, because that's because she's emptying the pots at one point, and you think, is she or isn't she? Yeah. And she yeah. does, um, and then she does clean herself off. Um, which is, I I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like. That. No, because I, I, she, I mean, she, I mean, it's not. She's not just literally stood on stage. She's talking to us the whole time. Yeah. Um, she is doing things like she blows up a paddling pool. Yeah. She rolls out some paper. She sets up a um, a line. A line which actually comes from round away, which is brilliant. And then she puts on that line for. Uh, like dishcloths really and at that point I was wondering what the dishcloths were for anyway um, so it's yeah. th there's this whole theatrical element to not just standing there talking to us no no there are uh, things actually going on yeah um, though talking of I mean it sounds a bit boring to call them props I mean because they're part yeah, yeah. you know part of the narrative as it were 
Um, I don't know that whatever what we discovered really what the white paper was for. No, but no, I don't think. Well, she walked along it when 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 she was in the pool of mustard. Uh, she walked along it Did afterwards. She, she walked from walk one end where the pool was along the, mm, the mm. to the. Um, yeah. I don't know whether we're arguing with spoilers here, are we? Did I don't say? know. Well, it's I difficult know. to know, really. I don't know. Anyway, I saw her walk Spice. along that. She didn't walk outside of that that line of where the paper was. She walked from one end to the other end. But all the other times she'd stepped. She stepped over. Yeah, deliberately yeah, stepped yeah, over it. Yeah. yeah. So there was obviously yeah. a connection. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, but. I mean, and it is an hour long, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the whole hour is, there's this, she's telling the story, the, you know, the dialogue. Um, and there's some very clever lines. I mean, I'm afraid I'm not... It's very I, poetic, I, I thought, in places. Yeah, yeah. there was some great yeah. uh, it's lines. Well, it's well observed. Yeah. Uh, there's some, there is some actually fantastic lines just about... Life in general. Life, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, um, um, and can we say? I mean, it's about mental health. Yeah, I think um, I think it is, and you know, I mean, and it's, and I think she describes her feelings, what actually sort of comes over her, and obviously there is a connection to mustard it's a compulsion isn't it to it's, yeah a compulsion and, and there. she sees yellow yeah. um and um but it's she describes other people's reactions to it um she describes yeah exactly uh, i know I've, i'm repeating myself but she describes how she feels when she's coping with something not very well mm. and this so, is what I mean, is, my question is, is this a type of self-harm in, in, in the sense of, uh, um, is Eva getting a release from this when she covers herself in well, mustard? It's hard, I mean, I, you know, it's I hard to say. She, she does, does describe right at the beginning um, about a sensation of burning. Yes. So yeah. there is a suggestion yeah. that, yes. And in fact, I had to just look up now to see whether covering yourself in mustard is is okay for your skin. And there is some doubt, as to, there's some way it does say that if you've got small burns on your hands, you can put mustard on it. I mean, I, I didn't know whether it was whether it was real mustard or not. Um, it has the consistency of mustard. I think what, she's... What you mean, uh, actually, what she was, in, what, in what the she performance? Did, yeah. Oh yeah. gosh! Yeah. Um, yeah, and and actually, point. I didn't know whether that's a good point. I mean, yes, you could argue that she's got mustard on her skin for about what forty minutes in total, maybe thirty minutes of, yeah, of the play, and then she's starting to rub it off. And then she she doesn't do that all at once. She talks to us as she's doing that with. So I didn't. I don't know what the health of what, whether. It never occurred could, to me. It never occurred to you whether it, it was real or not. Yeah. I mean, I think I made there was an assumption that it was real. real. Yeah. Um, but it may not have been. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the fact is that it <laughs> it looks it, it appears to have the same consistency. Yeah. I mean, um, I yeah, I don't know. Like I said, our worry here is: are we giving? I I don't know. It's really difficult. Yeah, that's only one, and, and to be fair, that is only one element of it yeah, because no, it, you know it, it's a journey for her, her meeting yeah. this guy, you know them, you know, and all the rest of it. I don't want to say any more about that because no, there, there no. is a complete journey that Eva goes on. Yeah. You know, and she does describe London, and she describes uh, rural rural island where her mother is, um, uh, and so th there is there's more to her than just a lady spending an hour covering herself in mustard oh, and then cleaning oh, herself off. No, 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 no. Because it is it, it, it's so more, much more going on than that in this. Far more going on. Um, I mean, I have yeah. to say, I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. absolutely brilliant. Um, my only, and it, it's not really, I want to know your opinion on this, cause, uh, the, the sound, the sound, I mean, the, the, the visuals and the, 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 the way it's filmed uh, are fine and it looks quite professional, but the sound was slightly echoey of an empty theatre. No. You I never felt no, that? Never felt that. Right, okay, no. that's me then. No. Um, 
so I thought, you know, I mean, you know, that was the only thing that I really picked up on. No, I, um, I didn't. Um, no. You no, know, I don't know whether that was intentional or not. Um, I mean, and you know, it's um, it's not a comedy by any stretch of the imagination, but there are there are bits in it where I certainly laughed, and I think you did as well. Yeah, yeah. There's um, some lovely lines. There are. There is. I mean, it's written by Eva, Eva which which is a um, fantastic job, really. Yeah. I mean, she does a, um, it's, it's, it. It's a it's a beautiful piece of writing. It is. It really is, and yeah. it really. I mean, for me. It really, we've said this a million times, well, not a million times, but we've said this time and time again. This is must see. The good thing about this is, if you're not going to Edinburgh this year, you can see it. Yeah. You know, you can sit in your own home or connect to a laptop. Um, and like I said, it's very easy to connect to the Summers Hall. There's no there's no signing in or any of this business. You have you just get your, you know, you book your tickets on uh, the Fringe website. They send you a, a link and a, a password and I don't know how long we've got it for. We were actually able to go back because Janie wanted to see the I first just, minute. Of, I just again. wanted to, um, because we were adjusting the sound at the beginning, and I just wanted to make sure that I had seen, seen the, the first, actual yeah, beginning. First minute, yeah. um, and I think maybe the first 10 seconds, <clears throat> but in fact we had. But yeah. I, I just needed for yeah. my clarity. So we were able to get get back. So it's it's yeah. So and actually, that's a really that's a that's a, a real positive for yeah. me because yeah. if you you know for whatever reason you know you we we were able to sit here for an hour, the phone wasn't ringing or anything else. But if you get disturbed, it does look like you can pause it. I don't know how long that pause would be, uh, mm. and and if if I will try and come back into it tomorrow, and and then post in the comments down below as to whether that was possible or not. Um, okay. I mean, I don't expect to be able to do that. I mean, right, you know, right. um, okay. I don't know how long we've got to watch it. No, okay. Um, but that's so much easier than when what the issues that we had with the not. Oh, thing. then yeah. Uh, so that was and different. it was great to be able to watch it. Actually, it was great to be able to watch it and not wear a mask. That's one of the first things I thought because obviously the, yeah. most of the performances were in Edinburgh. We had to wear a mask. Yeah, unless you were outside in in a in yeah, an yeah. outdoor space, but yeah. obviously, even though as we said in a previous um, video, social distancing has gone in some of the venues, yeah, but not all. Um, but not all. But if you were outside, there was a general consensus yeah. that yes, you but could it, sit without a mask. And it is nice to sit, and you know, we're mid afternoon. We've decided to watch it now. There's no time. It's not timed in the sense that we have to watch it at six o'clock on an evening or whatever. I quite no. liked that about the I fact. mean, there are some that we're going to watch which yeah. are time-specific. Yeah. And there are, so. and there's at least one, I know, where I have to create an account. Uh, right. But that's not with Summit Hall. I don't, that's with a, a, a different vendor. So we And we haven't seen the Fringe I, uh, play yet either. So right. we okay. need to, we're going to try okay. the different ones and let you know how it goes with all of, uh, you know, as many as we can, of yeah. these productions that we actually want to see. And we have heard, but again, we will, if we know that this is definite and we don't know which productions, if it does happen, that some of those productions which are appearing in person um, on the Fringe this year will be available um, to stream after yeah, to, or towards the end, the end, I believe. Yeah. The, the one that comes to mind is we we wanted to try and see Move, which was on a beach, but it was quite a journey and we weren't able to get there. Um, and actually, we we were struggling to get tickets because it was selling out. They only did a few performances, I think. And we were talking to a chap um, who actually did go and see it and he said that they, they had to stop the performance when he went because he had some issues with audio. That, I believe, is going to be shown towards the end. Now, as yet, um, I haven't been able to, we haven't been able to get any tickets. No, we haven't um, got details but, yeah, of that, so, but we will let people yeah, know. So that'll be towards the end of 28, 29, something like that, right at the end. Um, you know, if we've got more information of that, we'll let you know as we, as we, yeah. we go on, really. Um, okay. Let's tell you when it's on. Well, well, you know when it's on. You can have it any time. <laughs> it's through Summer's, Summer's Hall online. Summer Hall. So, sorry, I, put, I keep putting the S in. Summer Hall. Yeah, and it's and it's it's it is limited. It's from today, which is the sixteenth, and we were. I mean, had we filmed it before we were in Bargo, we couldn't have 
shown you it to, to today, but we've literally just watched it till the 22nd. So it's not the whole rest All of it. Right. So okay. you've got about a week. Is that about a week? Uh, what are we now? You're 22nd. We're uh, the 16th. 16th. Um, so six, seven days. Yeah. 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 Um, and, you know, it is getting. I'm just looking at some of the reviews on here. It's got four and five stars reviews. We haven't reviewed it yet. Um, the age limit is 14 plus. I would say because of the material that they, there is, there's the F word in it, uh, but that's that's as strong as the language thing is. How would you? There's. It, it's, it's the themes, isn't it? it really? It's, yeah. The um, description of sex. Can yeah. I say that? Yeah, it, there is, it, yeah. You know, a, yeah. a fairly explicit. Um, so that's probably why it's a 14. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, you may think it should be 16. Yeah. We've, we've had this discussion before. Um, but that's that's why. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, it says 14 plus. Anyway. Yeah. So tickets are £12. Pounds. Um, and it's a, it's a really good watch. Mm. So mm. Um, for high recommendation from you. What are your, what's your stars? I think I'm going to go for a strong four. I would go for four as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's really, it is really good. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, um, not quite sure what we're doing next, but we'll be doing something else very soon. So stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye.